So I know this, it may sound like a lot. So let's, let's zoom out and look at what a business succession plan structure really is. You know, the idea is that you're really just, you're, you're either, you're assembling, you're writing out a physical plan and you're assembling a group of documents that either have to be reviewed, renegotiated, or created. So the structure of this plan is the owner exit plan, because you want to have an idea of, oh, if I'm going to leave the company, what does that, what does that look like for me as the business owner? And then what does it look like for the business? You're going to have your internal corporate documents. These are the things that actually effectuate the plan. It's the answer to the question of how is this all going to work? You have the insurance policies. These are going to fund the business so that in case anything happens, the business has a lump sum of cash to use instead of having to just save money every month. The actual estate plan. So if you're actually, if you're passing away, the estate plan is the component that really provides that mechanism of, of passing on your ownership interest to your family or, or any heirs. The contracts that the business has, because again, at any given point, the business is under contract for something, whether it's with employees, it could be with lenders, investors, it can be with vendors, or it can be with customers. And especially for contracts where there's a personal guarantee, where if you as a business owner are guaranteeing debt, it's going to be very important that your succession plan actually planned for, um, for that scenario. And then and that other component is the actual business continuation plan itself. So when you put these all, when you put all these together, you have the business succession plan structure. 